about a year and two months ago, we started working on this current product that we're announcing today called Jaxter SMS. And Jaxter SMS is an application that runs on majority of the world's cell phones, uh, which is all the platforms, the, the Android, the iPhone, uh, the uh, Blackberry, and the J2ME platforms. What it helps the end users do is it lets them send text messages to any other mobile phone in the world for free. Uh, and we think that, that is pretty revolutionary because uh, you know texting is a $200 billion market and uh, we figured out a very novel way to enable people to save on their texting bills by downloading the application. Two real core business models. One is contextual advertising because you know once you you have an SMS app within the application you you know you're communicating we would put in advertising that is relevant to the context uh, and the second is selling individuals premium services so whereas the basic texting will always be free we will sell people enhanced services like if you want to text images or you want to text video files or you want to do online storage of your video files or you want to uh, make all of your text messages archivable and searchable, you know, we'll charge something like you know, 40, 50 rupees uh, per subscriber to do that. Uh, so those are the kind of enhanced premium services that, you know, that by which we hope to generate our revenue. We have a team in Ahmedabad and a team in Mumbai that is, uh, you know, uh, and very capable set of engineers. And even though the, the idea was conceived off in the US between by Yogesh and myself, but the development took place in India. Majority of our competitors are restricted to communication between two clients. So it's client to client communication. We think that's a restrictive model. For example, if I want to text you, I don't know if you're on WhatsApp or you're on Blackberry Messenger or you're on iMessages, but I know your cell phone number. Using our application, I can send you a text anytime. Using WhatsApp, I'm at a loss. So would you, for example, I give the analogy to people, would you buy a scooter that just took you from your home to your friend's home and not to any place in the world, you wouldn't. And so they're good attempts, but they fall into the old world of closed group instant messaging platforms. And we've already seen this movie we played before. Uh, you know, in the IM world, you had AOL, you know, you have uh, Instant Messenger, you had ICQ, then you had uh, Yahoo Messenger, then you had uh, Microsoft MSN Messenger. They were all silos. They didn't talk to each other. In our case, we are like your native texting application. Once you download us, you can send a text message to any other mobile phone in the world. So you, you're not assured of the success all the time. But as long as you keep thinking, and you keep thinking of new ideas, and you keep innovating, you will hit upon a good one. And, you know, I, I, I give you the mean, it, it's similar to the story of Steve Jobs. You know, after Apple, Next didn't succeed. But he didn't stop trying. So when he came back to Apple, you know, he brought the entire Next team back to Apple. And those are the guys that came out and innovated and created the iPod and the iPhone and the iMac. Uh, so the key to entrepreneurship is to keep trying. And sometimes, you're right, you know, you, it's, uh, Silicon Valley is built on failures. It's not built on successes. Only one out of 10 companies succeeds, but the one that makes it more than makes up for, you know, the, the nine other failures. And that's exactly the case, you know, with individuals too. One is you keep tabs with what is going on. And two, you simply run faster than anyone else. So in our business, you can never stop r running or translated, you can never stop thinking. Yogesh and I, we think when we wake up, we go to sleep, we are eating, we are playing golf, whatever it is, our minds don't ever stop. And that's the business of innovation. 
you've got to keep thinking of how to improve your product and keep watching out to see is there a way that this could go to zero is there a way will can somebody make this uh, you know irrelevant in the future that's why we keep innovating